We got here at the track. Uh, it's really hot. Um, we're running second class out this time, so that's nice. Renegades first, then us, and then um, and uh, fuel late models are here, so that's gonna be pretty cool. Should put on a very good race. They did last year. Really enjoyed it watching it. Uh, Justin Haley racing, and he ain't gonna be racing this weekend though. He's um, been racing Xfinity race out of today. COVID protocols got to stay at home, so I was hoping I, I was hoping he might be here. But COVID protocols, well, that's okay. Bunch of late models here already. Um, that looks like there's going to be a stack field and definitely good racing. Um, other than that, those pretty much normal classes, modifieds, U cars, Pro 4, and then that's really all there is. So hopefully it won't take too long tonight. Shouldn't. Um, like um, normal, hot lap 6, 5 lap main, I mean 5 lap heat, 12 lap main, uh, about uh, 7, 8 cars right now. Um, Coleman Chapman isn't here, but Tyler Chapman's here this weekend. So we may get thrown into one heat because uh, there, as of now, the last I've checked, there's seven. I'll double check, but mm, looks like we may be only doing one heat again. We drew a 71, which isn't horrible. Just put us up mid pack, pretty much mid pack. I feel like um, hopefully gonna try to do what we did last week, battle for third, third, fourth. Hopefully that's what we're going pretty much run for. That's the hope is battle for third. Hopefully finish third. And if we can't though, I'll I'll be satisfied with fourth. I'll take a fourth, but. Again, normal clean um, clean race. That's what we're really hoping for. Heats were really close. They were close to not being clean. Um, you also saw last week, you know, came close again and wrecked two. But hey, uh, A main was pretty clean last week. So finished third, which is really good. So I feel like we should be able to do that again. Hopefully, car. We got um, new spark plugs in it, um, new Richard's coal pack, and we changed the old finally after like 10 races on the same old. And it was like we changed the old for a while. Because the last oil change we had was uh, East Lincoln uh, when I blew the head gas because the log's still up on the channel if you scroll far enough. So it's been like 10, 12 races since then pretty much, counting testing days. So they definitely need a change and it's um, so hopefully we'll be a little bit quicker. Um, wash the cars, especially the tires. We got to clean up the tires, basically got them looking as brand new as we could. So hopefully it should be very quick. This probably will also be our last weekend in the Escort. Hopefully the Toyota will be ready for next week. That's our hope. Um, whether it happens or not, um, it's definitely been fun with this thing, but Toyo's pretty much about ready to wait for the machine shop to get done. We're going to try to dyno it if we can. If we can get the machine shop to dyno it, that'd be awesome. And then we should be racing that, hopefully, but it, we don't think we'll have any more problems on the Toyota Motor, which is good. So we'll finally be in a good rear wheel drive Pro 4 race car and hopefully we'll be able to run up front. And for the win, really much, pretty much with Connor and Joe. So they're probably going to be gone again um, this weekend, but, you know, that's fine because that normally happens. So hopefully going to be battle with Chapman. That's the goal is to hang with them. See what we can do in the heat race, and really, there's uh, really there's like no stress, nothing really. I'm really just here to have fun this weekend, so hopefully it goes good. If it don't, then that's okay. But yeah, really stress free, um, stress free night for me right now. Feels really good. So hopefully we'll have fun. Hope you all enjoy the video.
perfect. They're qualifying right now, but we're starting fourth in the heat. Start fourth in heat one. Um, hot laps in Carfell Sada is really slick. It's, dry, it's dried out a lot, so we should be a lot better than uh, the heat single hot laps. But yeah, starting fourth in the heat in the first heat. Feel like we can get second. We've got Connor on pole, then someone that didn't even get to run hot laps. They had to get pushed back to the pits. And then Tyler Chapman than me, so I may get to start second because I don't know if they got the car fixed and they may drop to the back, but I don't know. But as of now, we're starting fourth. We may get to move up. If not, that's okay. So I'm going to try to beat Chapman. Hopefully, it'll go good. We'll keep it clean, but yeah. So starting fourth should go pretty good.
like those four cautions in a row where we didn't complete a lap, we were stuck on lap four. So, glad we ended up third. I know Connor and Mentley wrecked down here, right here, barely, I think, pretty sure I barely missed them as close, I know. And they both got sent to the rear because Connor, they said, called the radio. Connor could have gave him a lot of room back down, and he kind of just kept his foot in it and didn't really give him a chance to save it. So they both went to the back, and then we had a green white checker restart because we were running out of time. And then, I think it was like lap two or three um, down here, off of turn four, I know me and Matthew Barr, late team, we, we gored. Now, I looked at it, I'm pretty sure that was a racing deal, because both of us racing hard. Um, it was a lot of fun racing him. I'm so glad. He did incredible. He's been racing about as long as I feel like I have. I mean, I feel like I've been racing him pretty much since the beginning of last year. And he's come a long way. He did really good tonight. Drove really good, really fast, especially in the heats when he beat me. That was awesome on his part. But, so shout out to him. He did really good. So we were able to hold on third there at the end. Glad we did. Almost got second. Coming off two. I know Chapman saved it. Barely uh, got loose, pushed up, got loose, and saved it. And I tried getting him, but you know, just couldn't hang with him on the back stretch. But that's okay. Uh, we'll take another third. It gets us a little bit more money. Definitely bet, finished way better than I figured we would tonight. Again, couldn't do this without every, all of y'all watching this, subscribe, following on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, like I said last video, every follower, every fan, every person that comes out to these grandstands or watches these videos in any way, watches me and pulls for me or even notices me. I mean, it really is incredible to think that. Less than two years ago, I was sitting on a couch watching racing. And, well, really, it really started 2014, got into NASCAR, decided that I'm going to do that with my life when I was like nine years old. I uh, decided, you know what, I'm going to do that. And December 2019, we got our first race. Last year, 2020, was so good for us. Ran really good. I'm glad I, we finished last year. Definitely drove pretty good. I really enjoyed last year. And so far this year, it's had its, it's, had its downs every now and then, you know, Toyota blowing in hot laps at one time before I got to make a lap. That was that, that was the lowest point of the season so far. But we got through that a couple weeks ago. Had a tire pop. Ended up going a lap down because we forgot the impact. We got stuck laps down. Finished eighth when we could have finished fifth and fourth. That, that, that was a little bit of a blow. But to come back these last two races and finish P3, I mean, I'm a kid that watched racing on TV and just decided, you know what, I'm going to do that. And we, we did it. I've done it pretty much. So... I just hope I can be a good example for all y'all watching that want to, even if it's not racing, want to get into something that you think is impossible, that you can. If you work hard enough, that if you are meant to do it, you will do it. Um, it's still crazy. Hopefully the Toyota will be ready next week. If not, that's cool because I still feel like we got a little more speed in the old girl down here. I feel like we can find another chance or two. But it's been so much fun. And this season already has been awesome. And we're not even halfway through. It's only May. So... Hopefully, it'll keep getting better. I feel like we can definitely win this season, especially if Toyota gets ready. That should be, all the problems with that should be solved, I'm pretty sure. And to run a car that's not, not even close to meant to be even a, really a sports car, running out here with cars that have been running front-wheel drive race cars for years that are proven fast, I'm happy. So thank y'all for watching.